Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get individual games in the Heroic Games Launcher, launching from the gaming mode on Steam OS, so that you don't have to launch Heroic Launcher every time, you can actually launch the individual games. And this has a big advantage because then you can go ahead and set profiles and settings per game rather than through the whole Heroic Launcher itself. And we're going to be using something called the Heroic Bash script, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing. It only takes a moment to do, but it really helps to support this channel and the work that I do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to quit out of Heroic. So I'm gonna quit the game here, and then I'm gonna go into the desktop mode. So I'll press Steam button here, and then Power, and then switch to desktop. And then we're gonna open up Firefox. And then we're gonna find this website, which is for the Heroic Bash launcher. So what we're gonna do is to scroll down and find the releases page. And then we're going to find the latest version here, which at the time of recording is 2.25. So if you follow my last tutorial, we use the Heroic Games Launcher flat pack. So this is the version that's in the Discover Software Center. So accordingly, we're going to use the flat pack version of Heroic Bash Launcher. So I'm going to go ahead and save this file and just let that download. So once that's complete, we're going to open up the folder and then we're going to right click and then we're going to extract here. So we've got this folder here. And then we've got the flat pack. Then we're going to go to the game files. What we're going to do is to click on this now and then click the execute button here. And now launch scripts have been generated based on the games that we've downloaded in Heroic. I'm going to press OK here. So now that that's complete, we can confirm that the files are in here and we'll go to the parent directory here. We now have a new script here called add to steam.sh. Here we're going to execute this. As an example, we're going to add Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'm going to press OK here. So the next thing that we need to do is to use Flat Seal. So we're going to open up the Discover Center, and then we're going to download Flat Seal. So if you haven't downloaded this already, this is a piece of software which is going to allow you to change some permissions. So if you don't have this downloaded, we can just press the Install button. I have it installed here, so I'm going to press the Launch button here. Now we're going to select Heroic Games Launcher, and we're going to make sure that this launcher has got access to user files. So we're going to scroll down here, and we're going to click All User Files here. Now we can go ahead and relaunch the Steam OS into the gaming mode here. So I'm going to double click on here to go into gaming mode. So now if I want to launch Final Fantasy VII, I don't need the Heroic Games Launcher here. What I can do is just go to the Steam menu, I'm going to go to Library, then we're going to find in non-Steam games that we now have Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate as a separate entry. I can now go in here and I can go ahead and change some of the settings. So for example, if I want to change to a different compatibility layer, so I can use Proton Experimental or GE or any other ones, and this won't interfere with the rest of my games. And then it means that I can set different controls here and it'll remember. So here we're going to press the play button just to test this out. So Final Fantasy VII has reloaded. This is the Epic Game Store version running through Heroic, but we've launched this individually through SteamOS and we haven't had to go and open up the Heroic Games Launcher or the Epic Games Launcher in order to do this. And we can go ahead and customize changes. So we can go ahead and do things like tweak some of the control settings and that's not going to affect any other game on the Heroic Games Launcher. And then we can go ahead and add more games as we wish. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.